It's a meaningless comet. This snake is definitely ready to strike. So whenever we post a photo, or anybody does really, of a rattlesnake that's coiled and rattling its tail and standing up and doing that defensive pose, there's always comments about there that say, watch out, it's ready to strike. It could strike at any moment. That is certainly true. So I thought that I would show you a bunch of other snakes in this slideshow that are also ready to strike so you can see what that looks like. So this is certainly one. This is a Western Diamondback rattlesnake. Not happy with my presence and it could, uh, it could strike at any moment. Here's a tiger rattlesnake. It's sitting here in ambush, um, starting to maybe look a little bit disturbed, but it's sitting there coiled probably that way for a long time. But yeah, this snake is also ready to strike. Here's another Western Diamondback. It's sleeping in the sun outside of its den, uh, coiled up, not being defensive, not showing any, any indication that it even knows that I'm there. Um, but that's a snake that's ready to strike. There's a Panamint rattlesnake. It's crawling across a road and looks like it's stopped, also ready to strike. Here's a black-tailed rattlesnake I found under some rocks. I don't even think this one ever even knew I was there. It was coiled there and, and hanging out, but this is a snake that is ready to strike. Speckled rattlesnake, uh, this one is really bothered with me. <laughs> it was captured so we could take some photos in this area. But yeah, if I put my hand down there next to it, I could, I could expect a, a strike. Here's another speckled rattlesnake sitting in ambush out in the wild. No indication that it ever saw us or was bothered by us in any way. But if I were to put my hand within striking distance, then um, this snake is also ready to strike. Western Diamondback crawling across a wash. Just taking a peek at me as I'm going. I don't think this one rattled at all, but this snake is ready to strike. Another Western Diamondback sleeping in the rocks. Not defensive, but this is a rattlesnake. This is what a rattlesnake looks like when it's ready to strike. Here's another Western Diamondback, very uh, not happy with me there, being very defensive. I could expect that this snake would bite me if I put my hand close to it. Uh, this snake is ready to strike. Here's another one, speckled rattlesnake sleeping. You can probably guess this snake is ready to strike, as is this young rattlesnake, this young Mojave rattlesnake that is not happy with things. And I think that it would probably, you know, expect a bite. This snake is ready to strike. Great Basin rattlesnake sleeping outside of its den, but yeah, it's ready to strike. Uh, ready to strike. This snake is definitely ready to strike. Uh, this one's sleeping also, but is also uh, ready to strike. And here's a black-tailed rattlesnake, being offensive, ready to strike. I, th I think you get it by, by this point, but it was a little overkill. Point of this is that rattlesnakes can strike from any position. They do not need to be coiled in order to bite a potential predator. They do not need to be rattling to do that. Any time that a snake feels like its life is in danger and it needs to prevent its own death, a rattlesnake can strike. It's not really true necessarily that they can even do it better if they're coiled. I mean, maybe to some degree, but it's not something that's so reliable that you should count on it. So if you see a rattlesnake and you are within its striking distance, which I would say even adding a little bit of buffer, about the same length as the snake, then you are looking at a snake that is ready to strike. So whenever somebody sees a rattlesnake photo out there and it's coiled and everyone goes, ah, it's ready to strike, it's a meaningless comment. All rattlesnakes at any time are ready to strike.